But what is most amazing about the Magnificat is that it is unfinished. Like many songs, we have heard it so often and think we know it so well that when it has been said and sung before, oh, some individuals or bands might even use it as a cover song. But really, what more can be said? A lot more. Because as long as we continue to listen to those words, to those who are full of hubris that could almost explode and ignore the words of those who live such humble lives they are never considered worth li listening to, the song is unfinished. As long as we keep treating the athletes who earn obscene sums from what are essentially games, the entertainers who can charge whatever they want to play the same songs over and over, the movie stars who can command millions of dollars for six months' work, the politicians whose words belie the lives they lead as demigods. The song is unfinished. As long as we continue to step over the forgotten on our way to grab another overpriced coffee, walk past those sleeping in doorways, ignore the lives of those in prison, think the hungry should be grateful for the dented cans and just slightly past the used before date food. We are willing to palm off to the shelters and soup kitchens. The song is unfinished. As long as we think the Magnificat is a seasonal chestnut to be put back in the piano bench and never thought about for another 11 months, the song is unfinished. As long as we think the words have nothing to do with us, the lives we are supposed to lead and the people we are supposed to become, the song is unfinished. And so are we. You is for unfinished. <laughs>